so hello everyone so welcome to this video so in this video we are going to discuss about some of the important questions from electronic principles and circuit epc from uh, ec third sem bec 303 okay for backlog students okay yeah so this video is, uh, is um, mainly for backlog students in order to clear their backlog i am uh, making this video some of the important concepts which you need to be learning before giving the exam of epc so one important concept is related to thevenin circuit of stiff voltage source okay the condition for stiff voltage source is rs is equal to rs is less than 0 0.01 rl that is the source resistance is less than 0 0.01 times the load resistance and this is the thevenin circuit with an npn transistor and one thevenin resistance here and these are some of the important expressions for thevenin voltage thevenin resistance that is r1 parallel to r2 okay and here we apply the thevenin uh, voltage so, uh, rule here and we are going to solve this okay so this is one important question related to thevenin circuit and one problem related to the voltage divider bias circuit okay they would be fixed asking with this th given thevenin condition you need to be applying okay and voltage divider bias circuit they would, they would be giving the value of amplification factor uh, the collector resistance emitter resistance and r1 and r2 values they would be giving and we should be uh, finding the voltage divider bias circuit all the necessary terms okay so this one question also would be fixed ask so one question related to vdb guideline that is voltage divider bias guideline okay then what is the relationship between vce collector to emitter voltage is a 1 by 2 times vcc and ve is equal to 0.1 vcc so therefore vc we are getting it as 0.4 vcc okay 0.5 minus 0.1 the vc that is vce is in general it is given as vc minus ve right yeah, so that's why 0.4 minus 0.1 there would be uh, 0.5 minus 0.1 would be giving you 0.4 okay vcc so like that we are getting the relation of rc is equal to 4 times re here okay then apply the thevenin condition here rth is equal to uh, 0 0.01 beta dc into re so rth is r1 parallel to r2 okay that is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 then this condition we are getting and this is the relationship between the resistors and the voltage sources in a vdb guideline or the voltage divider by us circuit that is r1 is equal to v1 by v2 into r2 or r2 is equal to v2 by v1 into r1 okay so this uh, relation question would be asked okay definitely it would be asked so this you need to be studying also one question related to two supply stiff uh, emitter bias circuit would be asked okay the relationship between vbe is equal to vb minus ve so therefore vbe would be they would be giving it as minus ve since we are having two supply here in yeah, one supply would be towards the uh, emitter side and one supply would be towards the collector uh, one supply would be towards the emitter side and one supply would be towards the emitter side and the relationship between uh, base to emitter voltage vbe is given as minus ve so we are getting ve as minus 0.7 volt whenever we have two supply uh, emitter bias circuit okay so this is the formula for ie here vre by re okay then this uh, condition also you need to be knowing for two supply stiff emitter bias circuit then the questions related to base bias circuit emitter feedback uh, emitter feedback bias circuit okay its formula its formulas for uh, emitter current uh, collector current and all all of this would be asked along with the collector feedback bias circuit as well so this is also these three uh, circuits are very important so please note it down so one problem related to coupling capacitance would be asked okay that is uh, this relationship you need to be knowing for coupling cap for a, a good coupling the condition is the uh, capacitive reactance is less than the 0.1 times the resistance for ac analysis capacitor is short circuited and for dc analysis capacitor is open circuited and these capacitive conditions are different for base bias emitter bias and collector to feedback bias circuit so this condition also you need to be knowing very well okay that is for ac models the coupling capacitance the for good coupling this is the condition that is capacitive reactance xc is less than 0.1 r okay so please note this down then one question related to the uh, common collector amplifier that is we need to be drawing that uh, T model uh, T equivalent model circuit and uh, the necessary expressions you need to be writing one is T model and one is pi model both of the model and the uh, equation for Z in stage and Z in base you should be writing okay along with the input impedance and whatever what and all are the mentioned that is beta 
uh, the relationship between beta re dash re re dash everything along with the voltage gains all the expressions along with the circuit okay and the, in the collector side the it would be replaced by a collector voltage here and the transistor would be replaced by a resistance called as re dash okay yeah with the amplification factor of beta it would be remaining as it is and this condition you need to be noting down okay and from module 2 one question related to biasing using drain to gate feedback resistor okay this question would be asked biasing using drain to gate feedback resistor the uh, what what we should do is the drain from the drain terminal we would be should be taking one gate uh, resistance and that we should be shorting it towards the drain terminal okay so that uh, drain to gate feedback resistor would be getting nullified so that the gate current whatever we get that is equal to zero okay that is the large feedback resistance rg forces the dc voltage at the gate to be equal to that of drain okay so that's why drain uh, uh, drain voltage and gate voltage would be approximately equal to zero so that we get the gate current as zero okay so this is the relationship of vdd is equal to vgs plus idrd this relation you need to be knowing okay then the derivation of transconductance okay transconductance gm is equal to id into vgs okay what is the relationship between transconductance and uh, uh, overdrive voltage that is vov okay all its relationship along with the formula that is vgs minus vt vov is equal to vgs minus vt okay this relationship you need to be knowing because this they would be asking in while well, solving problems so please note it down so in uh, any three of the amplifiers that is common source common gate amplifier and common drain amplifier one question would be definitely asked that is to draw the common source amplifier circuit along with its equivalent circuit and necessary expressions for a uh, input voltage then a relationship between signal voltage and input voltage along with the T model circuit of the common collector amplifier along with all the expressions they would be asking it okay yeah so we should be noting down all the expressions that is v out uh, v out output voltage output voltage gain and overall uh, voltage gain that is gv what is the expression for gv you need to be noting down similarly for common gate amplifier also this is the circuit for common gate amplifier pause the video and refer it okay a common gate common source and common drain in these three any one would be guarantee asked okay along with the small signal equivalent circuit okay and all the necessary expressions derivation of all output voltage uh, voltage gain transconductance the overall voltage gain gv okay what is the relationship also the output resistance by inspection is found to be r out is equal to rd that is drain drain resistance the output resistance is equal to the drain resistance in case of a common gate amplifier and here this is the common drain amplifier okay its circuit along with the small signal equivalent t model along with all the necessary expressions for uh, over, uh, overall voltage gain output voltage and input voltage and along with the uh, rg resistance okay and the relationship of the output voltage gain and the overall voltage gain gv whatever the relation we get we need to be writing also the output resistance r0 is equal to 1 by gm which is parallel to r0 by assuming v signal is equal to 0 the gain is the gain we are getting approximately equal to 1 that founds with the condition that which should be high input impedance and low output or impedance or resistances okay yeah so this condition we need to be noting down for common drain amplifier cd amplifier and also one question related to r to r digital to analog converter one problem would be fixed asked okay this is the general circuit okay they would be giving the binary values for, for d0 d1 d2 d3 respectively like this okay using this formula we need to be finding the output voltage in case of r to r digital uh, to analog converter to determine the output voltage one problem from this would be definitely asked so please note this down as well and this is uh, one more important topic that is op amp pass comparator okay operational amplifier as comparator how does it works all of it's with the zero reference non zero references all of its circuit diagram along with the transfer or characteristic output plot for inverting input and for non inverting input all of them output plots we need to be drawing for this is for inverting this is for non inverting and this is for inverting input okay see the graph changes the saturation voltage positions okay where it would be lying should be seeing it very thoroughly and comparators with zero reference then uh, inverting comparator with diode clamps okay then the output waveform of an inverting comparator all of its circuits okay you should be noting down uh, this is for a bounded output for zero crossing detector okay where the diodes of zener diodes would, two zener diodes would be flashed face to face in the feedback path of the op amp okay 
so please note this down and uh, this is the graph plot which we get okay that is the square wave generated in case of a zero reference comparator okay this is the diagram of a zero reference comparator that they would be asking fixed okay so please note this down as well and this is a comparator related to non zero reference okay that is the inverting threshold detector this it's also called as inverting threshold detector detector this is these are the comparators of non zero reference okay it's how uh, uh, threshold voltage is given as or the triggering voltage vt is given as minus r2 divided by r1 plus r2 times vee so this expression also you need to be noting down so please note this down and one more very important concept which you cannot be skipping is schmidt trigger one question related to schmidt trigger would be definitely asked okay this is the typical schmidt trigger circuit and triggering triggered point voltage it is given as v0 into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay when the beta value is r1 divided by r1 plus r2 where upper trigger point U utp is given as a beta into v saturation lower trigger point ltp is given as minus beta into v saturation so hysteresis the total hysteresis expression is 2 beta times v saturation because it is a upper trigger point hysteresis formula is given as at upper trigger point minus lower trigger point that is beta v saturation minus of minus beta v saturation that is 2 beta v saturation this is the expression for hysteresis and this is the required hysteresis plot where one is for beta v saturation one is for minus beta v saturation so this in this way the hysteresis plot would be drawn so please note this plot down and also the schmidt trigger for a non inverting mode so please note this circuit down so this is for inverting mode similarly we have for non inverting mode okay and this is the change in the hysteresis plot we get the direction would be completely changed okay so please note this down this is an important question and one question related to lead lag circuit that is lag circuit and lead circuit okay uh, what and all are the expressions we get for uh, the transfer function v out into v out by v in along with the change in phase angle okay phase angle expression and uh, phase uh, diagram all the phase diagrams you need to be drawing for lag circuit as well as le leaks lead circuit in lag circuit the phase angle is always negative in lead circuit the phase angle is always positive and these are the expressions for the phase angles okay in phase angle in phase angle is minus tan inverse of xc by r here in case of lead circuit it is tan inverse of xc by r so please note it down and one question related to colpitts oscillator okay they would be asking colpitts oscillator circuit diagram so please note this circuit diagram down and one question related to phase shift oscillator also okay and one question related to hartley oscillator hartley oscillator any one of them they would be asking to write its uh, minimum uh, voltage gain beta value and the resonating frequency it's fixed for uh, colpitts as well as hartley that is 1 by 2 pi square root of lc okay and one more important concept is crystal oscillator okay the crystal oscillator where this crystal is represented as uh, the branch current it it is represented as lcr okay in in case in place of lcr we would be representing it as a crystal okay and the re resonance frequency whatever we get is for for crystal oscillator is 1 by 2 pi square root of lc into square root of q square divided by 1 plus q square okay from uh, for series and parallel resonances these are the uh, applied conditions for crystal oscillator so please note this circuit down for crystal oscillator okay where this rfc stands for radio frequency coil and we are using uh, this crystal oscillator using the voltage divider bias circuit in the output side we would be con connecting one crystal oscillator circuit and it is directly given to the uh, base base terminal of the transistor so please note this circuit down very important and from triple phi timer one question related to mono stable as well as a stable multi vibrator its block diagram okay and the triple phi configuration for mono stable operations this diagram they would be asking along with the uh, expression for pulse width that is uh, w is equal to 1.1 times rc so this is the circuit of mono stable timer circuit using a triple phi timer and these are the expressions for upper trigger point lower trigger point and pulse width okay and this is the internal structure of triple phi timer along with the pin structure okay where triple phi timer consists of eight pins okay then this is the internal structure of that triple phi timer so this question also they might be asking and this is the a stable multi vibrator circuit okay it's necessary circuit it is used by using triple phi timer and uh, pulse width expression time period expression frequency and duty cycle all of these you can should note it down okay one question related to a stable multi vibrator also they would be asking then one question related to types of negative feedback okay there are mainly four types of negative feedback that is voltage control voltage source voltage control current source current control current source and current control voltage source 
in VCVS is due to voltage amplifier, VCIS is due to transconductance, ICIS is due to correct amplifier and ICVS is due to trans resistance and its uh, conditions also you should be writing for all the these four types of negative feedback. Okay. Along with the separate explanation for VCVS equivalent circuit, ICVS equivalent circuit, VCIS equivalent circuit and ICIS equivalent circuit. Okay. So please note this down. This is very important. Then one question related to practical response of the different kinds of filters. Okay. So these are some of the filters responses. Okay. Response plot you should be drawing one is for low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and band stop filter. All of these uh, filter circuits uh, definitions. Okay. Uh, the low pass filter only allows the uh, low, low frequency signals and high pass filter only allows the high frequency signals. Okay. And it uh, blocks the low frequency signals. So this, uh, these are the definitions of low pass and high pass filters. And these are some of the second order low pass filters or they are also called as Butterworth filters. So please note this also down very important. So that's all. So these were some of the important concepts which I have tried to cover it in a short amount of time. So hope this video would be useful to you all. Also share this video with the, your some of the back, backlog students. Those are having backlog you can share it with them. Okay. Hope this video would be useful to you all. Please like, share, subscribe and comment down your opinions about uh, how this video was useful for you. So that's all. Thank you.